Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to review the ROG Setra after using these earphones for one month daily to play PUBG Mobile and to listen to songs and everything. This is going to be full and final review of these earphones, whether you should go with them or not. By the way, I just started a brand new gaming channel where you will find exclusive gaming content. Uh, the link will be present in the description box below. Few videos are already up on the channel. In future, I'm planning to do gaming PC builds and some other stuff as well. So get subscribed to that channel as well if you are not already. Let's talk about the ROG Setra. This video will be divided into pros, sound quality and the cons of this device. Without further delay, let's get started. First pro of these earphones is going to be the USB Type-C port. This works out of the box with almost every laptop that has USB Type-C port and every smartphone that I tested. And that's a great thing considering OnePlus smartphones, ROG Phone 3 and all these new smartphones which are going to launch in the future will not come with a headphone jack port. USB Type-C earphones is the solution if you do not want to carry a separate headphone jack adapter. Second pro of the earphone is the lighting. Yes, these earphones actually light up as you can see. Unfortunately, this is not an RGB lighting considering Asus has an RGB router. I was expecting these earphones to be RGB as well. Maybe the Setra 2 will have RGB lighting. Who knows? Third pro is the ANC that is active noise cancellation that is present on ROG Setra and that's why the pricing is 7,600 rupees, which is much higher as compared to other regular earphones in my opinion. Now how good the ANC is, then I felt that the ANC was very good. It worked super fine. If you live in a noisy area and you play games like if your house is always crowded and people are always talking around your house which can be annoying at times with earphones which do not fit perfectly and you are able to hear everything that all the other people are saying in that case ANC is a godsend oh my god it was so good whenever I was in a room which was very noisy the noise went way down like literally way down it was definitely noticeable with ANC turned on next pro of the earphone is that they are extremely comfortable like you can play the game continuously for three to four hours and you will not feel any type of pain but you will have to make sure that you have the correct ear tip and the correct wing so i was using with both of these and it fits perfectly it doesn't fall out like even if i'm wearing one it does it, it won't fall out i'm telling you right now i don't even have to shake my head and get my head injured or neck injured it, it is extremely comfortable, fits perfectly, creates very good isolation. You also get three extra ear tips in the box and four extra wings in the box. So you can adjust them according to your ear size. Make sure that you choose the correct ear tip. That's extremely important here. Next prop of the earphone is that the mic is very close to you. When I wear the earphones like this, the mic is over here. So whenever I'm speaking, the mic gets my voice immediately and it's not present inside this unit. It's This is only for mic. And uh, this unit houses volume up button, volume down button. You can pause music, play music. And on the side, you will find a button which can be used to switch between three different modes. First one, ANC on. Second one, ambient mode. And third one is ANC off. ANC on, uh, obviously noise cancellation on. Second one is ambient mode. Like if someone is talking to you, you don't have to remove the earphones. Just press the button once and it will go into ambient noise. Basically, that means that it will uh, amplify everything that's around you. Like if someone is talking to you like, Dhananjaya earphone nikal, PUBG basoge, nito marungi abhi khana nahi dungi. If someone is talking to you like that, then you just have to press this button and you will be able to hear that clearly. You do not have to remove the earphones. I feel like sometimes removing the earphones can be easy, but uh, with the wings, it fits so perfectly uh, sometimes I don't want to remove them and third one is ANC off and uh, that's that that's it you also get a carrying case inside the box itself with ROG branding and uh, it definitely looks fancy it's very well built I wish the earphones were also oh wait uh, I'll talk about that in the con section so you get the case basically I guess that's pretty much it for the pros section of the ROG Setra now let's talk about the sound quality which I feel was a uh, good uh, if you are planning to listen to music and you're buying these just to listen to music, good songs, and if you're expecting excellent sound quality, then that's not going to happen. I have used other earphones in the price range of three to 4,000 rupees, which definitely sound better than ROG Setra when it comes to music as such. Uh, when it comes to highs and mids, the earphone performs good there. But when it comes to lows or bass, uh, the earphone was slightly disappointing. I was expecting these earphones to be very bassy considering this is a gaming earphone, but that's not the case. Listening to music, obviously the experience is very good, but paying 7, 1600 rupees just to listen to music uh, that's that's a little bit difficult to recommend but when it comes to sound quality and gaming and sound quality in the game was perfect it was as i said isolation is excellent because of which you will be able to figure out whether banda left side or right 
विद बंदर लेफ्ट से आ रहा है या राइट से आ रहा है आगे से पीछे पीछे से या आगे से किधर से भी आ रहा है you will be able to figure that out so when it comes to sound quality in the game it's very good there and it becomes very loud as well i know that a lot of players prefer to use the earphones or headphones at 100% volume so that they do not miss anything and these can become very loud you won't complain about the loudness for sure after this now let's talk about the cons of the device first one is going to be the build quality even though these will cost you 7600 rupees these do not have a braided cable which was quite surprising to me when i got these first i did not know about the pricing so i thought maybe these are worth 4 5000 rupees because they come with anc and no braided cable but the price turned out to be much higher the entire earphone is made out of plastic no metal used like even the usb type c connector i mean type c connector is made out of metal but this part is not made out of metal the earbuds are not made out of metal basically the entire earphone is made out of plastic it doesn't give you that premium feeling unless and until you show off those lights then it feels very premium and once you tell people pricing and then when they listen with anc then it feels like the price is justified when i was using this earphone with rog phone 3 and i was using the bottom port on the rog phone 3 unfortunately i ended up bending the usb type c port present on the earphone and now i can easily bend it so i feel like uh, if the uh, sturdiness of this port could have been improved maybe i i think it, they can still improve it if someone from asus is watching this video uh, so that it won't bend and this is not something which will happen to every other person i used a lot of force and then it happened. Now I can easily move the USB type C port inside this. I hope this gets improved in the coming future. In the last month, whenever the battery went uh, below 10% on my device, whichever device I was using, I stopped using these earphones because these have lights and obviously it consumes little bit extra voltage or extra battery from your device. And uh, there is no way to turn off this. Uh, lighting is great and all. I enjoyed having lighting. I mean, I did not enjoy it as well, but it uh, it's good to show off. But there should have been a way to turn it off as well. When it comes to ANC, which works super fine, but the earphones do not remember which state they were in after they are removed. Like I put the earphones in right now. I turn off the ANC because I am in a house where everything is calm and I do not want to use ANC. And I plug it in once again they turn on the ANC back. The Xiaomi USB Type-C earphones, which also had ANC, which I had used few years back, they remembered the position. If I was not using ANC the last time, the next time I will connect it, the ANC won't be turned on. ROG Cetra does not do this. And as there is no option of firmware update or software update for ROG Cetra, I think this is how it's going to be in the future. And I guess that's pretty it for the detailed review of ROG Cetra. Who should buy this at the price tag of 7,600 rupees? Uh, that's a difficult price tag to justify because you get a lot of headphones, but with a headphone jack. Now, if you are someone who is looking to buy an earphone with USB Type-C port and ANC and uh, is looking for great comfort with good sound quality in the games then these are definitely good ones for that i wish asus had launched these at a price tag of maybe six thousand rupees or five thousand rupees it would have been much easier recommendation because the pricing is seven thousand six hundred rupees not just seven thousand and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video the direct link to buy these earphones will be present in the description box below all those gamers who are planning to buy this don't forget to use my link that surely helps out the channel uh, my new gaming channel i'll plug it in once again if you have not subscribed the link is in the description box below or just click on the i button or it's present on the screen right now if you enjoyed this video give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified next time i upload a video like this one so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching